Hidden Object Guru here with hot new game Fishhead Blueprint. A game which, by all accounts... So it's just keyboard, huh? I can't play... Oh, thank god, I can play with controller. Yes. Whew. Uh, it's a retro game. Uh, designed to look like a Game Boy style game. Ugh. Okay, you actually have to hit it every time. Not cool game. Wow. Done and done. Alright, so, ten years ago. It was the opening of a Mega Man game. Defeated High Air and Tomato Man. Oh, way to go! Defeating that clone machine! I assume this has been a previous game in the series. I would hope. Goose! Okay, Tomato Man's hideout is pretty cute. Okay. And? Tell me more about High Hair. I love your name, High Hair. I want to know more about you. Oh, It's made by British people, I guess, so it has maths lessons instead of math lessons. Dr. Bao had a secret this whole time. How would you know that, Horror King? No! You fool! Why would you keep the blueprint? Okay. Tell me about this new message. Yeah, maybe keeping the blueprint wasn't such a great idea, buffoon. Kitten! You cannot pet the cat. I'm very sad. But there is a cat in the game, which makes me very happy. I really am a dude with a fish for a head. It wasn't just a clever name. Although, despite the fact that I have a hit fish for a head, I cannot be in water or I will die instantaneously. That's right. Instantaneously. The known world. Hmm. So, now this game is structured Metroidvania, regular platformer. Sadistic platformer. <sighs> Thanks. Okay. Great, I have hammers. That's, that's all I was supposed to do? Get hammers? I thought he was going to tell me about the fact that, like a moron, he got rid of the, uh... So he kept the cloning machine, and now it's in the wrong hands. But he said it lost its head. Really thought that was going to work on that, but it only opens doors, I guess. Weird that thrown hammers are just keys. I'm kidding. Of course they'll kill monsters, too. See? Oh, it just takes more than I thought it would to kill him. And now I'm out of hammers. Where's my health? Hey, you can bouncy bounce on their heads. Nice. Goose! I say that because we found a goose. Was it just a statue of a goose? Yes. Goose! Still happy to have found it. No complaints on the goose front. Now, what was that wonderful goose game we played last year? What was it called? Ah, oh, yes. Dune Sea. The greatest goose game of 2019. Sorry, entitled goose game. I guess you should have found a title. No! I forgot to get the final goose! Quick 
quickly going back for that final goose to see if I get a bonus. And what form would that bonus take, Hoguru? I don't know. Oh, I need to find the key. That's what I was doing up here. And that's the key card. I thought it was a health pack because of, you know, how it looked. Also, it doesn't... Gah! Show you on screen that you have successfully gotten a, uh... Wait, why are my fish heads suddenly gold? Uh, it doesn't show you on the screen that you've taken damage or anything, so I'm a little confused about how the th game's health system works. Like, I assume if I get hit multiple times, I die, but where's the meter telling me how many times I can get hit? We should do experiment next uh, map. Goose! Hell yeah, we found all the geese! I would love to play a bonus game about geese! Oh, I see. They teleport. Fascinating and logical, too. What? That one had only just appeared. Why, it's like they're trying to trick me. Well, of course they are, Hoguru. That's what bonus games are for. They're for tricking you and making you look a fool. This one is quite good at it, actually. Alright, next up. Dungeons of Nightmare. Probably not the Dungeon of Nightmare. Oh, it was underground. What the heck? Oh, sorry, I got hit once. Got hit twice. Oh, that's it. Um, my health starts at white, and then it turns orange, then it turns red, and when it's turned all of the colors, I'll die. He said, yeah, there we go. Get another hit after it's transformed color-wise, and boom, you're done. At least I, at least I learned. Well, that was embarrassing. Also, I'm just bad at jumping on these guys. It's not a good look for Hogaru. And I assume if I get that hundred uh, coins, I'll get myself an extra life. There we go. Yep, there's the key card at the top right. At least that makes sense. What the heck? Found in the green key. You think that thing was a health pack? Because it sure as heck didn't look like that. Uh, the keys sure as hell don't look like it anymore. I should stop second and guessing myself as much. wonder when Baby Dino Adventures is going to be complete. I certain someone really enjoyed that game. And I'm very excited for her to be able to play the finished version. Uh-oh! More tomato clones! Oh my god, that's a giant star. Baby Dino Adventures. Yeah. Same much as the giant coins worth. Ten. That's not bad. Don't know if it's worth the trouble, but I'm glad it is worth ten. Sorry, pal. So do enemies respawn yes or no? The answer is no. And I'm very happy about that. Collect hammers, people. Because in tight quarters like this, you cannot uh, reliably jump. Yeah, it was a health kit. I wasn't blind. Yay! Uh, you cannot reliably jump on them without risking your own life. That's a laser. Let's see you just interact with the switch by pushing up. Good to know. What the hey? Well, I can't say I wasn't warned. I think I missed one of the geese this time. Which goose? Obviously Howard. That's a clever video game reference. Well, it's not clever, but it is a video game reference. Oh, I did find all the geese! Yay! Bonus game! Oh, it's the same bonus game. That's disappointing. I thought it would mix it up. Come on. Oh, we got this. 
That was amazing. Alright, fish head adventurer. Okay, I probably should have seen the, uh... Whoa, those are landmines. It is interesting that we have to say landmine because sea mines became so ubiquitous in the world. That we have to qualify if you just said mine, it might not be clear. Also, you might think you were taught, people might think you were talking about the concept of a mine, i.e. a place where you do mining. Health kit! Lazor! Oh, I thought I could run under him without him hitting me. I was naive. Alright, got the red key card. This is going great. Cannot say enough nice things about this game's controls. S super, super tight. I was worried when I was uh, when I was forced to play with the thumbstick instead of the D-pad. It was going to be floaty or weird, but no. Super tight controls. Very easy to jump into. Goose! Uh, why don't we do it on Sunday, Devin? Oh, are you kidding me? I have to find a... Com I have to find a combination? Great. Uh, have you confirmed that you can, in fact, play... Um, cross-platform with you on PS4 and me on PC? And, of course, we'll see if Maddie wants to get roped into the game, too. Because I know he's been excited to try out uh, Generation Zero with other people. Okay, well, it's not there. Forgot about the landmine. Wait, is there no instructions written anywhere? I just have to try out the different combinations? I mean, there's only six combinations, so I could have actually... If I'd known it was just trial and error, known it was just trial and error, I would have just done it. But now I feel kind of silly. So up, up, up is wrong. Up, up, down is wrong. Up, down, down is wrong. Up, down, up is right. Okay, well that was less hard than I was making it out to be. Whoa, dude, not cool. Well, that was closer than I would have liked. Oh, I missed a goose! And all I'm missing out on is the bonus mode I wasn't entertained by anyway. Okay. So what we have here is a Game Boy style adventure with that kind of limited screen space. About a super cute character having bonkers cute adventures. Apparently we have to find some kind of a pirate key to get in there and get to the bonus level? Or maybe it's just the next level after this level. So there's a treehouse that I can't get into. There's an island map. Yes, I know I'm still on that island. Goose Flight! I gotta say, this fish head monster I'm playing as spends a lot of time around geese. Respect. I would do that too if I could get away with it. Geese seem like they're the beast. Oof. That wasn't so bad. Oh, I don't think so, Dr. Le oh my god, am I riding a goose? I'm riding a goose, everybody! What? Oh, he dropped me. Felt like that four was going to collapse, but I was wrong. It did not. Oh, how was I supposed to get around that guy? Fah. Really load me up with the hammers, aren't they? Make your move. Oof. Goose! I kind of love how much of this game is goose-themed and goose-centered. Whoa, that was close. Uh, did anyone see a card I missed? So I just had a goose adventure. Oh, there it is. But it's up in the sky and I can't get to it. You know. 
because it's in the sky. What's that, Jeff? I don't know what salute me means. I may have just been tricked into saying something uh, uncouth. I guess I missed something at the start of this level? Because the green one, I know where that is. You go through here, this red door, and then you go up there and you jump off and you get the green one. But the red one's not here. Wait, breakable wall. Come on! Please tell me there's a checkpoint. Oh, there's not. These levels are very long t to not have checkpoints. Alright, let's try this again. Alright, we got this. That was actually pretty cool. Hilarious work. Goose flight! What? I thought if I push right hard enough, I could, uh, sneak my way into getting the, uh, green uh, key card early, but I could not. In fact, I just, hu I merely humiliated myself. Alright, here we go. We got this. Now to make the jump back. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, Devin. That sucks. Well, if I ever get it on PS4, we can absolutely play it then. Maybe it'll be a uh, game of the month. Or if they send me a third copy, I don't imagine they will. But if they do, I could always uh, send you that bad boy. Okay, where is it? Oh, it's directly below the coins. Okay, that's actually pretty easy. Goose! Yeah, fish head. Blueprint. I had no idea what to expect. Not bad. Hey, taco uh, ombre. Ombre de taco? Goose! Hey, there are more... Uh... Oh, I see. I have to jump over the tomatoes. And I got killed. Because I didn't know what kind of game it was. Well, that was embarrassing. All right, so we're going to take a break here, having found out that this game is cute, it's charming, it plays like a dream. If you're looking for a Game Boy throwback with much, much better, with a much, much better frame rate than any of those games ever had, this is the one for you. But for now, I've been the Hidden Object Guru. Thanks for coming on this journey with me. If you had a good time and you'd like to see more, there's buttons for that coming up. Questions, suggestions, related whatnots, go in the comment section below the video. I'll see you back here for more new and upcoming games. But until then... Au revoir.